Give me your impressions of everything that you've seen okay. from this event so far. What has impressed you most? Um, I think the things that have impressed me most about all of this um, they try to stick very true to form. You right. know what I mean? There, there is, there's a Simon, there's a Paula, you know, there's, there's a Ryan. Um, the stage looks so much like the stage. It's yeah. kind of creepy, you know? It's creepy to be like, be on it and, and you know, it kind of strikes fear in my heart standing on it. But um, yeah, they, they really try to stick true to form. So now I saw that, and I know that there are at least two songs of yours on the right. list of 113. Give me, if I were going in to sing Ever, Ever After, tell me something about one. that song that I might not automatically think of. Some place that place you might get tripped up in Ever, Ever After. Um, Ever, Ever After is actually, it's it's a very vocally challenging song because the whole song's kind of up here. Like there's no like high, low, you know, and it, it builds and it's just really big at the end. It's kind of big all the way through. So I think that one would be a really tough one to sing. So if you can pull it off, I'd say go for it. And not that I would try all American Girl, but giving advice to somebody that's thinking about singing that. Um, I say, you know, just just be the all American girl. You know, you, you see it and, and you, you sing the song and the words are very sweet and it tells a story. Um, but just think of, you know, be happy, love what you're doing, be the all American girl, be the girl next door, be you know, it's it's all good. What have you done in terms of things that you've pre taped for the show? Where where are people gonna see you? throughout this? Um, I think people, because I'm not exactly sure how they're editing everything together, um, but, um, you know, uh, words of encouragement, um, you know, on the finale, we, I, I did some stuff for the finale, um, but I'm, I'm very interested tonight to see how um, everything goes down, and, and I'd, I'd like to come back at some point when it's just your normal American Idol experience, um, not this big, fabulous grand opening that, um, that they're having, but just, you know, see, see what it's like. Um, and what are you going to be doing tonight? Did I hear you're doing a duet with David? Yeah, um, David's singing and I'm singing, and then we're kind of doing one together. So it's not so much like a duet, like this new song. It's it's one that everyone should recognize. Um, but yeah, we we do our thing, and and I think we sound really good together. So. <laughs> so now you and you've actually been on the stage mm -hmm. there. So so. What was your first reaction when you walked into that theater? Um, I mean, like I said, it's kind of creepy. Just as far as everything, everything about the stage is, is kind of, it's just meant to make your emotions run high. And the music and, and everything about American Idol, it's just, it's meant to make you feel something. And I think most contestants, when they get on the stage, that feeling is nervousness and anxiety. Um, but everything is designed to, you know, it's just so. I did notice, though, the judges are kind of over here instead of over there, which is actually very good, I think, because no matter what you do when you're on the real deal stage, those judges are right there in front of you. Like, they're in your way. Any direction you go to look, they are right there. Like, you cannot avoid them. At least this way you can kind of go to the right and sing to the people over here and not think about the judges. How does it make you feel having gone from auditioning to being the idol and now coming back and helping open something that will help other people audition? Uh, I think I think it's very you know full circle um, and and it, I mean you know I know what they're going through and uh, you know every year of American Idol I love to go back and talk to the contestants and kind of hang out with them and I don't know just remember what it was like and hopefully they can you know see all of us you know come back and and think you know I want to be like I want to be like Kelly I want to be like David I want to be like Carrie you know and it's it's great to think that um you know we're that what people work towards and and to come back and open something that um could turn somebody into a Kelly or David you know it's it's amazing <laughs>